Hi, Magnus. First of all, thank you for taking some time and, and, and coming here today. Can you, first of all, let's start off talking about you as a leader. Can you tell us a little bit about kind of what, what's important to you as a leader? What shapes you as a leader? What defines you as a leader? Uh, from a leadership perspective, what really makes, uh, what makes a difference and, and what makes it meaningful is uh, uh, when you come into a situation, you try to analyze the situation, where are we as a company, where are we as a team, setting targets based on a strategy. And, and then you build a team and, uh, and, and uh, really work together then to, uh, to achieve or hopefully exceed the targets. And I think that is really what is making leadership uh, meaningful. Um, if, if you do that then under a strong purpose, I think that really adds different dimension as well. How have you taken purpose and actually brought it into the decision making and action mode, shaping Securitas not just in the future but also today? Yeah, so I think first of all, uh, it's like I said, we did not rush the process. We spent almost six, nine months with different purpose workshops so that we were not really rushing that to, to, to ensure one thing basically, that we define a good purpose that is meaningful for us today and also for the long term. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we announced that a couple of months ago, but when we did that, we were obviously very excited about it, but we also said this is not something that we're doing just for the next couple of weeks and months now. This is a multi-year journey as well. How do you manage the, the trade-offs between, let's just say, the short-term pressures and these exciting, amazing opportunities that are there? I mean, how do you as a leader kind of manage those two tensions at the same time? That's obviously one of the fascinating parts of, of, uh, of, of running and leading a team in a company like Securitas because we are there, out there in the market every day and it's like you say, I mean there are lots of competitors out there. We know that we are leading the industry, we are convinced that we have the right purpose and the right strategy to win for the future. But then obviously we cannot spend all the effort on investing in the future only. We need to take care of the business today. Right. And that kind of friction I think is also something which is quite healthy because it also means that we are also responsible in terms of the money that we are investing and the bets that we are also making to really strengthen the business for the long term while also then taking care of the mid term. But this, this is never easy. I mean, this, this is just the reality of running a business but also doing it well. I mean, how do you bring learning into your organization on a consistent basis? Yeah, I think first of all, we spent quite a lot of time with our strategy process. Right. Uh, but then we also said that learning from the past as well, we also know that building a strategy is just the first step. It's Execute. Easy, that's the easy part. Exactly. That's the easy Executing part. and implementing is really the bigger challenge, but also the bigger opportunity. Right. So, so we also now have firmly every three months on the agenda also for the entire group management strategy is then one of the key parts that we are owning and that we're also then assessing where are we doing well right. uh, with relation to what we said we were going to do and where are we not really progressing and then why. What's your biggest personal challenge as, you, as you're looking at leading this journey for a company like Securitas? Well, I think the, the, um, we, have, we have an attractive strategy and also a wanted position in terms of where we want to go. Exactly. Um, to drive the change, I think one aspect is the size of the organization because we are 370,000 people. Some things you figure them out and you want to make the change right now. <laughs> I think so. Patience, patience is, a good skill patience you, exactly. is one important skill. <laughs> right. uh, but it's important then also when you have a big organization that you also have clarity in terms of where do you want to go. Right. That you have a clearly defined purpose that is helping and also defining so you can almost work your way back and say these are the steps that we need to take to be able to realize that. What's success for you personally as a leader? Uh, I would say if we are a good way down the path of <laughs> developing our strategy, that is obviously one. Uh, how can we then measure that? Well, that would mean that we have a higher added value, more kind of a knowledge and data driven as well approach uh, in terms of how we are working. Um, that will mean that we're adding more value to the clients. It will also mean that we have better engagement for all the employees because they will also be equipped with better tools. Mm -hmm. Uh, more knowledge and if we do those things well and we do that at scale then we should also have been able to improve the profitability as well so we're also then generating stronger returns to our shareholders as and well. growth and the growth <laughs> and the growth exactly. absolutely yeah thank you very much Magnus thank, thank you Tom great talking to you great talking to you as well thank you thank you